Hello and welcome to the series where I show you what I am doing to try and become a web developer. My name's Craig and this is week 11. As you can tell, I've shaved my hair off. I think it's pretty good look. I did it myself. You can tell I've got some long hair sticking out somewhere. But in terms of web development, it's been an okay week. I have felt myself be quite distracted and I've had a lot on my mind, I guess. So I haven't done as much as I would like. But I'm fairly happy. I've made some good progress with Free Code Camp's JavaScript section. Hopefully this will be a short video, so we'll dive right in and see how much time I've spent on web development this week. In total, I've spent 19 hours and 15 minutes, so not a huge deal, but as I said, a lot on my mind, and I'm okay with that. In terms of tutorials and projects, it was heavily skewed towards tutorials with 11 hours, 25 minutes on tutorials and seven hours, 50 on projects. That's mainly down to trying to get free code camp JavaScript section done. I want to get up to the projects of that and really start trying to implement it myself. What have I been learning this week? I finished off the navigation chapter in the book Web Design and Easy Step. Not a great deal to note there. I also attended a free UX webinar. I wanted to get a little bit more information on UX and frankly I was rather disappointed with the webinar. It was a bit of a waste of time. It was just an introduction but I felt it didn't really introduce UX that well. It was more of a sales pitch. It was a free webinar. What can I really expect? The majority of my time has been with Free Code Camp. I've made huge leaps and bounds in the JavaScript section. I've mostly been reworking modules that I've previously completed as a refresher, just trying to build up my skills a little bit again. And there are still things I'm struggling with. That will happen. Uh, it will just take time until I feel comfortable with them. I've went over regex, debugging, basic data structures, basic algorithm scripting, and object-oriented programming, quite a lot. There's things I'm struggling with in regex, I just can't seem to remember what kind of combinations to use to get the right splits or whatever I'm trying to do. And there was a few things with object-oriented programming which confused me, I think it was mixins and there was something else, I couldn't get my head around it. Again, I'm hoping with time and a bit more research, I'll get that. I've also taken a quick class on Skillshare about WordPress. I had a custom request on Fiverr to look at someone's website, which was based on WordPress. Uh, honestly, I was in two minds about it. I didn't take the job in the end. I was quite honest. I said, I don't know WordPress. So it's probably better looking for someone else. Yes, I could have like said, I'll take the job and I could have tried to learn what I needed to know on the job, but without kind of any support, I thought that was too risky and if anything went wrong, I would have no one to help me, unfortunately. So I think I made the right decision by turning it down. WordPress is huge, so I do want to look into it. I'm just worried that I might spread myself too thinly at the moment. Let's dive over to the computer and see what I have been building this week. I'll try and keep this computer part as concise as possible. I've completed one front-end mentor challenge and I've done a little bit towards my gym website. Not a huge deal. Let's have a look. I've got everything open already. So we'll start with front-end mentor challenge. It was a newbie challenge using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Quite straightforward. It's an accordion, so you click these buttons and you know more of the message will appear and the mobile navigation. I won't show my Figma design because it was mainly just the colors. I didn't put everything in there. So my main design will start with mobile. And yeah, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Honestly, the HTML and the CSS was the hardest part. The JavaScript was rather simple. It was a few kind of on-click methods. 
the, the everything within the kind of FAQ section was fine. The main problem I had was with this image. Well, it's actually two images. The main one here and the shadow are two separate images. So that was my main problem with this site. So I've got an on-click method for each of these. They work, they've got the hover animation, everything's fine. I do have another media query. So when the screen is smaller, I add a bit of marginal pattern along the top just to, you know, make sure it doesn't get scrunched up. And everything works fine. Pretty happy with that. Then if we go to the desktop version, this is where I was having major issues because this box is another image. That's a different image to the one on the mobile. Similarly, the shadow is a different image on the one with the mobile. And it just took me a long time playing around using you know, position fix, position absolute, different methods just to try and get the images working. I feel like I've done a fairly good job it could be improved. You know, if I took off this challenge by front end mentor, your name section, because this is all in a grid, I think this would go down to the bottom quite nicely. I've got a bit of a box shadow on it. Generally, it's, it's decent. Struggled with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, wasn't an issue. So that's the front end mentor challenge. Then my gym website. So I'll be very honest and say I haven't done a lot to it. I added a small favicon to the top, nothing exciting. I just grabbed an image off Google. I created this swimming page. It looks bland and boring. I put a little bit of content in, used another table. And yeah, I feel like I need to do more to it. It just, this whole site is, yeah. Just a bit plain. Maybe I have like I should have a big cover image of some people swimming. I don't know. But it's something I need to review and think about in a bit more detail. The other section that I've looked at was the which one was it? Gym. And yeah, all I've done for the gym section was to include the content. I do have links that go to the activity page. Uh, this will go to the personal trainer page when it's built, but I haven't built that one yet. So I was really kind of just listing out some random stuff. Um, I might put like the three floors in bold or something to make it stand out. But yeah, I definitely need images and things just to draw the user's attention to, because looking at this, I'm like, well, what, um, you know, Jim, my logo kind of catches my eye, but then I've got to look my, like mon my monitor is quite big, 27 inches. And I have to turn my head to kind of see the text. So I need to, yeah, I haven't styled this page, but I, I need to think how I want to style it as well. Hmm. I'm not very good at being creative and making things look nice. It's something I'm really trying to work towards. It's just, I find it really difficult, but I'll get there eventually. And that is basically the computer section done. That's everything for week 11. Next week, I have a catch up with my uncle and hopefully he's got all of his images and copywriting sorted for his website. We'll talk about different options for his web hosting. I also want to get further along with the free code camp JavaScript section. I'd love to get up to the you know, projects and the intermediate scripting section just to test how much I actually know. It might be a bit of a push to get all the projects and the scripting done, but I'll see how much I can do. And I'm in two minds, whether I pursue a bit more of WordPress or if I kind of practice more intermediate, advanced HTML and CSS, just with, I felt like I've been struggling recently with it. So maybe some kind of CSS challenge would be good. 
All the links will be down below. As always, I would greatly appreciate your thoughts and advice. Just comment down below and let me know. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I will catch you all later.